let's start with this. Natalie and I love a Twitter account called F Around and Find Out. It's a Twitter account that tracks stupid people doing stupid things. Try doing something stupid and see what happens. It usually ends badly. You know, stick your hand into a lion's cage at the zoo because you want to make a TikTok video. F around and find out that TikToker, TikToker lost a finger. So when you F around, you find you out. You find out. Try, yep. Here's another one. Try to set the beehive on fire that's nested inside of your backyard shed. Um, instead, you light your shed on fire. F around and find out that's exactly what happens. So the United yep. States and NATO are playing a game right now of F around and find out the United States is doubling down on sending money to Ukraine despite massive corruption there. It's almost like, what's the definition of insanity? It's like, doing the same thing twice. And hoping for a different outcome. Yeah. Right. So now this is like the 10th time that we've sent them a huge bag of cash and hoping for a different outcome, that it's not going to wind up in the hands of corrupt individuals. It's not going to wind up in Africa somewhere. Many of the weapons that we are sending to Ukraine are winding up in Africa, which are now um, arming the very same people that we're basically upset at in Niger, uh, Niger and other countries. Basically, the, the people that we want to kill in Africa, the United States. Um, so they're getting arms that we've sent into Ukraine on the black market. So good job. F around and find out. So perhaps worse is the United States now looking to send troops to Finland in order to poke the Russian bear. Get ready to F around and find out. According to the report, the agreement will dictate the specifics regarding the stationing of U.S. troops in Finland for military exercises and overall preparedness, which would be the first instance of an extended foreign military presence in Finland during peacetime. They're not a NATO country, remember? Um, it's likely that the U.S. military would be granted access to at least one airport and harbor as well as a training area. So an airport, a harbor, a training area, a new military base is probably coming in short order, I'm sure, because we need we have 953 military bases around the world. We probably need another one in Finland. This morning, uh, Vladimir Putin responded to this latest madness by NATO and the United States with a devastating warning and a plan, by the way, to stop this NATO expansion by distributed military technology among allies who want to protect themselves. So basically, Putin is proposing to share military technology with countries wanting national independence, sovereignty, who don't want to be bullied by the United States any longer. And he said it in a pretty eye-opening speech. Here's a part of that. Exactly. Россия открыта к углублению равноправного технологического партнерства и военно-технического сотрудничества с другими странами. Со всеми, кто отстаивает свои национальные интересы, свой независимый путь развития. И считает принципиально важным вместе строить равную, неделимую систему безопасности, которая надежно защитила бы каждое государство. F around and find out. So a network of sovereign countries using Russian military technology to fend off U.S. bullying. And presumably NATO bullying. Sounds like an awful lot like the Russian version of NATO, doesn't it? Except instead of trying to invade other countries, this would be a, quote, defensive mechanism to keep invaders out. Isn't that arguably what NATO was supposed to be, a defensive organization when it first started? Perhaps the U.S. wants to F around and find out if Putin is serious and, and see how, how deadly serious he is about this. Um, I, I just can't imagine that Putin is going to allow U.S. military bases to encroach upon right up to his backyard in Finland. Like, we'll see how this goes. And this sort of gets into the, the greater discussion about the Arctic Silk Road and what does the Arctic Circle hold, the new frontier, the next frontier in, in perhaps this war. By whoever lays claim to those those trade routes into the Arctic Circle, and Finland, of course, is an open door to those trade routes. And is the you know is Russia going to allow the United States to encroach upon that territory the same way that we've encroached upon the South China Sea? Um, probably not. Meanwhile, the Western media continues to hide the real number of dead in Ukraine. So we got these numbers today. We now have new numbers in an exclusive report from Intel Republic. They say the number of Ukrainian dead exceeds 400,000, 400,000. Look at your screen here. 2 million wounded or permanently disabled 
And reports today are 30,000 Russian soldiers killed. So on your screen here is new satellite imagery showing at least one cemetery. This is just one cemetery in near Zaporizhia. Um, it's 104,000 square meters, uh, which has just been dug, this new grave space. And there's in just seven state cemeteries, there are now 123,000 fresh graves. 123,000 fresh graves. That's just awful. So and let's continue I mean, this madness. Let's just think for a second about the wounded and permanently disabled um, who will be paying the pensions of these people who have to live their lives out as cripple people now? Uh, probably us. It's our fault that they're like that. And, and then, you know, we'll be paying it out as well uh, because the Ukrainian government is not going to have any ability to pay that on their own. Yeah. No, the United States will absolutely be paying this bill. You American taxpayers will be footing this bill. Um, and if you as we're talking about, like, spending money and U.S. taxpayer bills, uh, meanwhile, this is an unbelievable report from the BBC because it's all tied together. The BBC is now reporting that all those maimed or disabled Ukrainian soldiers that Natalie just mentioned need some help in the sex department. So the Ukrainian government is spending U.S. tax dollars to hire prostitutes who will visit the hospitals and have sex with the men before surgeries or after their surgeries as they're recovering. They need help getting back in. It's called Rex. R.E. Sex is the name of the charity that takes government funding, which comes directly from the United States. Great use of tax dollars. They're doing it under the guise of helping these men recover, they say. Rex Sex employs sex workers, a.k.a. prostitutes. There's the, uh, there's the owner, Ivana. Ivana. I think you're saying it wrong. It Ivona? looks like Resex. Oh, Resex? I don't, think, I don't think it's Rex sex. Oh, resex. She but. says, there's sex in the hospital, sex at home, sex before procedures, sex after. There's a lot of sex going on, says the owner. She's the founder of it. And after securing funding with the start of Russia's full-scale invasion, they spoke to Ukrainian soldiers and experts to ensure they were tailoring their help specifically to the men and women who need it. So they're doing it under the guise of helping these men recover and... The, you know, basically having the, the, bringing these prostitutes in to have sex with former soldiers, giving them handbooks and literature. Um, these people who may have had, you know, sustained serious injuries. Rex sex or resex <laughs> says just to, just a reminder. Uh, yeah. You know, just a reminder that the Biden administration just approved FEMA checks to the Maui wildfire victims, a total of seven hundred dollars per victim. But they don't get any sex. No, they don't get any sex. Seven hundred dollars per victim. That it, it doesn't it, seem fair for Maui people, for people in Maui. Right. So <laughs> like, we can send billions of dollars to Ukraine, and literally, where they can use the money to hire prostitutes. The BBC does a feature report on them, and uh, everything's good. But you get seven hundred dollars if you lost your home in in, in Maui. Which, by the way, seven hundred dollars in Hawaii will is enough to buy you a jug of milk and some eggs. Too bad your house burned down. We need to send this money to Ukraine because prostitutes need our, our t U.S. tax dollars. Can you put that video back up again of the of the BBC article? Because I want to continue with that. Ah, shoot. Um, Sorry. Yeah, no worries. But can you scroll? Is there a way to scroll through it? Or no? Shoot. I wanted to get to the the end of it here because this is where this 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 part of the article is the most interesting is towards the end here. Um it's incredibly demoralizing. It reminds me of um, uh, the movie. There's uh, several movies like this, but it, it, isn't this a, a long-standing tradition for militaries to bring in sex workers? Uh, well, they were invited. You know, in fact, she was the owner of Rex Sex, R E Sex, Rex Sex, uh, was in, uh, inspired by the uh, the United States. Memphis. Um, Bell. Memphis Bell. There was, was a movie about I don't think they that. brought in... Anyway, let's go back to this. So this is... Here's just one of the soldiers in this. His name is, uh, uh, I don't know, Lieb? Lieb? He says, every partner I had was important to me, of the prostitutes he's talking about, in gaining my confidence back. Look at him smiling. I'm very grateful for that. I'm very grateful for that. After I came back from captivity, he says, and in the hospital, I had a girlfriend, and then another, and then when I was doing the project questionnaire, and now I have a partner. He says, I might have missed one in there. I don't know. I can't keep track of all the prostitutes that were sent into the hospital. I don't know. But I'm glad to know. See the big smile on his face? Aren't you happy, America, that your money, your tax dollars are going to, to prostitutes in Ukraine? Isn't that great? 
Mm. I, I mean, don't, I mean, we should all feel good about that, right? I mean, I would how have is this happening? that person not have been sent to war and then not <sighs> felt that compelled to boost his sex. He had a girlfriend, but he doesn't anymore because they sent a bunch of prostitutes in to make sure that he was okay in the bed. Okay. This is transhumanism. And I wonder if those are prostitutes were a result of the, their men being out dying in war. You know, so then they had to support their family. Right, so then sex they took workers. That yeah. yeah, yeah, great point. Great point. The cycle continues. Uh, well, lately you might have seen online videos of Ukrainians partying in Kiev, going out to nightclubs. This has been going viral here. Just some examples. These are the ladies in, uh, and men. You see all the young men and not a lot of young men, but just some ladies and some... Uh, what do you call that? A crop top? Or a... Yeah. How do the men get there? Like, I thought that they were supposed to be conscripted. We are, exactly. Right. So lots of men and women. And so in the, a lot of these videos have been lately being uh, shared um, on Ukrainian social media. And, uh, and individuals who've come back to the scene are sharing videos of what it's like out in nightlife now in Kiev. Parting like it's 1999, young men and women enjoying their lives in the NATO-controlled capital. Things are totally normal. It's a fun summer. And then when these videos started emerging over the past few weeks, Twitter trolls were trying to play these off as old videos. Uh, they are not. Uh, they are new videos. They are current videos. Um, That's well, very hip fashion. Did you know Zara has a manufacturing plant in Ukraine? Okay. I did not know that. So is that the clothes they're wearing? Is Zara clothes? Looks like some of them. Yeah. Uh, why are these young men? To answer to, to answer Natalie's question, though, like the 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 fact that there are men in there. I mean, we just covered it yesterday. Like those are men with money. They don't have to go to the front lines. Yeah. Yeah. So exactly. They're there. Yeah, they're there in these nightclubs, and they're they don't they've probably bribed someone or paid someone off, presumably, right? That's how they're able to get there. And they are not though uh, it, currently on the front lines. Um, why are all these young men partying with these girls in the capital? Aren't they supposed to be killed by NATO on the front lines? Why is NATO allowing these men to party like this? Again, Ukrainian telegram channels were trying to pretend that these videos were old. Nope, they are new, and Ukrainian's president has seen these videos. Zelensky has seen these videos, and he's acting pissed off about this. Why are these young men not being killed like the rest of the young men on the front lines? Get to the front lines. He just released a video message last night on his Telegram channel after, after a lot of these videos have been going viral about all these people partying in the capital. Watch. So what are you doing partying? Get to the front line so you can be killed like the 400,000. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we're asking you to do. And he just, by the way, he posted that video message after just <laughs> meeting with the leader of the Azov battalion. So, yeah, why are you hiding out in nightclubs? Get out of there and get to the front line so you can be killed like the rest of them. Yeah. It's awful. But again, this is exactly what's happening right now as Ukraine has been turned into an utter graveyard. Again, the numbers 400,000 killed, 2 million, 2 million disabled, uh, you know, crippled. Um, permanently injured. Yeah, permanently injured. Um, you know, like that one of that guy, you know, his pelvis destroyed, et cetera. I mean, this is this is ongoing, absolutely destructive. And the United States is is totally fine through an account. They even talked about that accounting error that where they didn't have the millions that they were supposed to send. They forgot right. to send it. Now they're going to send it. Make sure that it gets to Ukraine. I mean, but it's not like they can just poof, create new weapons. You know, it's because they said, oh, OK, go into the closet, get out up to. Five billion or whatever it was at that given time. Okay, you know, we counted up to this much. Oh, well, actually, we don't like the way you valued these certain ones. Uh, we were supposed to send this much, so let's send even more. Uh, so, you know, it's again, so they just went back into the closet and said, let's add it up, up into this, into 200 million more that we didn't like the valuation of. Um, so, those weapons, now they said, we can send out of the United States' own coffers. So they just went and dug out more, basically. There's just, you know, seems to be a bottomless pit. There's always more. If you're an investor looking for an easier way to trade stocks and you want 16 free stocks, 
All you need to do is go to redacted.inc slash Mumu and sign up today and you can be trading like a pro with Mumu in no time. It's our favorite trading platform and I love it because I'm able to set alerts. I set the morning bell alert so I get a little update of the stocks that I'm following, the companies that I'm investing in, um, whether it's uh, minerals companies, gold companies, silver companies, uh, uranium companies, uh, actual commodities companies, people that are pulling things out of the ground and helping us survive, fossil fuel companies, things like that. And I like to set alerts like that and be able to trade like a pro. Mumu is an amazing stock trading platform that enables you to set all sorts of different alerts, but also they give you high level uh, access to pro items that you would normally pay for on other platforms like level two quotes and things like that. And with Mumu, you don't. But the best part is you get 16 free stocks when you sign up and you open an account and you make your initial deposits in your account. And now they just rolled out Canada. They are now available in Canada. So all you need to do to get a bonus, you get a $100 bonus there in Canada if you sign up right now. Go to redacted.inc slash mumu and get up to 16 free stocks, including a Google or a Tesla stock for free when you open the account, when you make your initial deposit. So our friends at, uh, at mumu, just by going to redacted.inc slash Moo Moo.